And hello, friends, to you everywhere, everybody, and howdy, Johnny Ryan. And howdy, Johnny Lee. It's really good to see you in front of a KVOO microphone once again. Man, you don't know how good it makes me feel. You've got quite a representation of uh, Oklahoma boys. I think uh, one from Ada. That's right, Smiley Weaver. One, two, three, four, one. Smiley Weaver was born on Panther Creek, Muddy Boggy, in Central Homa, Oklahoma, June 1st, 1931. Smiley devoted his entire life to his family and his music. Smiley's interest in music began as a young child in Ada playing guitar and steel guitar and sitting in with musical groups who came to town. He played steel guitar with Tex Ritter who paid him $15. Smiley went on to play with many well-known artists including Hank Thompson, Patti Page, Buck Trent, Johnny Lee Wills, Bob Wills, Merle Travis and Eddie Arnold. In 1950, Smiley began playing with the famous Miller Brothers Band as lead vocalist and also as guitarist. In 1952, he was drafted into the Army, and two years almost to the day when Smiley got out, he went right back to playing with the Miller Brothers Band. At one point, they were the third most popular band in the nation, performing in 37 states during a two-and-a-half-month period. He performed as lead singer and guitarist for seven years, and later performed for 15 years with his own western swing band at the Saddle Club in Chickasha. During this time, he also included several solo songs, which included Divorce Me C.O.D., a Merle Travis tune which climbed all the way to number 11 on Billboard magazine's Top 100 Country Music Chart in 1972. Smiley played with Bob Wills one week after Wills was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Smiley traveled and played steel guitar for Bob along with various house bands up until the time of Bob's stroke. Smiley and his wife Carol were married 65 years, and out of this marriage came three daughters and one son. His son David and daughter Vicky also played music professionally for many years. After performing hundreds of gigs across the nation and logging more than two million miles by bus, he returned to Ada when he was 33 years old and opened his own guitar and music shop, Smiley's Guitar House. Smiley and Carol owned Smiley's Guitar House in Ada for over 20 years. Smiley was much like a father figure to many young artists and musicians. He assisted them with the techniques of managing their own careers in the music business beyond guitar lessons, such as how to perform and operate a bandstand. Over the years, Smiley taught many young musicians to play the guitar, including Charlie Archer, longtime musician for the late country music performer Conway Twitty, and later steel guitarist for Loretta Lynn. Dave Copenhaver, another student of Smiley's, owns Studio 7 Recording Studio in Oklahoma City. In addition to performing and operating the music store, Smiley also built public address systems for a number of auditoriums and performers, including top country music artists Farron Young, Jim Ed Brown, Johnny Bush, and Willie Nelson. He also assisted many area and surrounding churches with superior sound systems. He often loaned music equipment to communities including school kids at Kiowa and performed there to help them raise money for their senior trips. As a result, he developed close friendships with the McIntyre family and their children, Reba, Susie, and Paik. In Reba's biography, she states if it hadn't been for people like Smiley and others helping the Kiowa High School Cowboy Band and the Singing McIntyres, there might not have been a solo career for Reba. Later, Smiley built his 4,000-square-foot state-of-the-art dream recording studio in Ada. Many success-hungry musicians found their way to Ada and recorded at Smiley's studio, including gospel, country, and rock and roll groups, some from as far away as Washington State. When their children were grown, Smiley and Carol made the move to the Dallas area. There he played with different bands and turned down more jobs than he had time to play. However, family ties brought him back to the small town of Brayman in north-central Oklahoma. Smiley continued to play, and his performance with the Roe Brothers Western Swing Band at the Cherokee Strip Centennial Celebration in Ponca City drew him to the attention of Oklahoma Balladeer and Music Hall of Famer Les Gilliam. Later, Les asked Smiley to play with his Silver Lake band in a local benefit performance. The chemistry among Smiley and the other band members led to his performing with Les for the next 18 years. While playing with Les, Smiley backed up Roy Rogers Jr. and Gene Shepard and became a favorite at the Gene Autry Oklahoma Western Festival for many years. Smiley played Silver Dollar City for 16 consecutive years performing steel guitar in the Silver Lake band during this time, Smiley received awards such as the Outstanding Western Swing Steel Guitar Player in the Texas Western Swing Society in Mineral Wells, Texas, and also was inducted into the Texas Western Swing Hall of Fame in San Marcos, Texas in 2011. An accomplished steel guitarist, as well as a great vocalist, Smiley was a lifelong entertainer, lighting up the stage with his music and personality. He contributed much to the history of Western Swing and understood the role of the steel guitar in a Western Swing band as much as any other player. For all of his accomplishments and his lifelong dedication to music in Oklahoma, in 2015, Smiley Weaver was inducted into the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you very much. Boy. Boy. 
You got to rock the bye, baby, rock the bye, baby. 